three, uh, three ways by which we discover the divine. Uh, and that is universal, that applies to every human being. Um, confronted with that mystery with which we are always confronted, we don't know where we come from, we don't know where we go to, uh, confronted with mystery, surrounded by mystery. That is one way in which there is more and ever more. Uh, the other way in which we discover that divine, which is the more and ever more, not only of the same but of ever new <coughs> dimensions, the other way is in us, ourselves, within ourselves. We can never fully fathom ourselves. Uh, we, we are a mystery to ourselves, and so we find the divine, the more and ever more, within ourselves, as, as the deepest uh, abyss within ourselves. And then, uh, it, it, these are two, still, in a sense, static. But then is a dynamic element that is also more and ever more, and that is life. Uh, or creativity, or thought, or uh, and, and whatever, activity. And that is the th uh, also more and ever more, and, and is also divine. And in the traditional notion of the, of the tri triune God, uh, that was uh, contained, and, and that is uh, what is still for us valid, and will always remain valid, uh, uh, in, among human beings, of this idea that God is three, three in one, but uh, Augustine says already, when you start numbering, you're already on the wrong track. You cannot number. There's no number. But you can say, I experience the divine in those three dimensions. And that's how the whole thing obviously started. We always uh, want to start with our own experience.